Hi everyone, it's Giselle with a dream interpretation slash epiphany and channeled message for today. Today, I have received probably the most important breakthrough that I'm going to receive on my way to freedom. And I wanted to share it with you because I want you to benefit from that as well because I want you to be free I want you to be truly liberated on your path to unconditional love and for you to also receive everything that your heart desires because that's what we came here to earth for is to have an amazing life and I know many will say well my life's been horrible my life's been a nightmare and I am sorry to hear that, but I want you to know that things can be turned around. And it doesn't have to be that way. This message is about karmic cycles finally ending. And I thought my last karmic cycles video was about that, but it wasn't entirely. It had a bit of a cliffhanger, it had a bit of a to be continued vibe about it, you know? And this morning I was dreaming a lot and I finally, through these dreams and waking up and analysing them with my angels, I can finally understand now. Oh, this is what it was. And it takes a lot of giving up my own ego and pride to do it because initially... And for the longest time, until right now, I've always been like, Peh, I'm not affected. Forget those people, you know, they're not part of my universe. And that's what I used to say. <laughs> it's fine to say that for things that don't really have a personal impact, such as maybe politics. I don't want that to be part of my universe because it's all a load of nonsense and I think it's a joke at this point. But personal relationships and things that have affected me directly whilst I don't want them to be part of my universe if I don't deal with them they will remain part of my universe whether I want them to be or not it takes a lot of courage putting aside of ego putting aside of pride stripping away all of your layers making yourself vulnerable allowing yourself to be sensitive and and if you are going to be broken through this process that's just one of those things so whilst it's not an easy process to go through it is a process that's necessary to free you once and for all and I know that some people have written on my previous Comic Cycles video, I'm going through the same thing, please help me. And I said to them, you know, don't, don't allow it to worry you. It's not a big deal. But they said, will this person finally leave me alone? And they will. Just follow my steps and, and they will. Now... I'll go into the dream first. So what I dreamt was just a very, very vivid and real thing about a karmic person that I was in a relationship with in the past. And in the dream, I was supposed to go to a Christmas party and I had no plus one. Which is true. I went to Christmas party this year. I didn't have a plus one, but I didn't... You know, it wasn't something that bothered me. Because you weren't supposed to take your plus ones anyway. Well, you could, but you'd have to pay extra for them and all that. You know, hassle, whatever. I wasn't bothered. And I had a great time. I had an amazing time. Which is different than others. And that's also an indication to say that this year is going to be different. Because the Christmas party had such a different vibe. I remember last year's Christmas party felt really awful, just too many energies, negative energies 
mixing and intertwining with mine that I absolutely hated and I had to go home early. With this one, I stayed the entire time. I had a wonderful time. It was a very intimate setting just with people that I really liked and that was the difference and I loved it and I felt good and I took part in the conversation and I felt appreciated and I really appreciated them. It was a circle of just appreciation, love and balance and I loved it. It was awesome. But anyway, gosh, I go off on tangents and then I have to bring myself back to what I was actually talking about. <laughs> oh no. Um, But I wanted to tell you about the difference between the two. Well, all of my Christmas parties really leading up to this particular one in January that I went to. This was the, the groundbreaking one that made all the difference, basically. So... And that that's the reason why I felt it was different. But in the dream, I had no plus one and an ex of mine offered to be my plus one. And they got all dressed up and ready to go. And I was sat in my dressing gown really angry and crying. And they said to me, what is wrong with you? I'm all dressed up, ready to come to your Christmas party. I've made the effort. What? Why don't you want to be there? And I said to them, I don't want you to come. I don't want you to be there. They said, well, why not? I said, because you're effectively with somebody already. And, and that's the truth. They are with somebody in real life. But in the dream, it was, even though it was a dream, I also feel that this is telepathic communication between me and this person. And so I said to them, you're with somebody and you're going to come to my Christmas do? I think that's ridiculous and disgusting and you have no respect for the person that you're with. And I don't need that in my life. I don't want you to come and I'm not going either. And so I decided to stay in and not go. And I just got angry and, and it started to bubble. And that's what used to happen in our actual relationship is whenever he would do something that would anger me I wouldn't talk to him I would just sit there and stew in my anger until it bubbled up to the surface and I exploded and then I had to say something but I would say the nastiest things <laughs> so thank god I've grown up and don't do that anymore my god I am such a different person but anyway this dream brought me back to how I was in my early 20s this was me Ugh. and it takes a lot for me to admit that to you so <laughs> but I'm do you know what I'm over it <laughs> that was me but this is not me anymore thank god and I'm so happy that I've grown but anyway going back to the dream I was stewing my anger and I exploded and I I don't know if I punched him in the face or something happened but I was very nasty <laughs> and they got really angry and they go what the heck is your problem why are you such a you know b-word <laughs> And I said, well, it's because you're with somebody and you think you can have two people in your life that, that you treat as, not necessarily girlfriends, because I'm not a girlfriend, but just in the way that you can rely on us both for, you know, you, you, you rely on her for sexual favours, you rely on me for friendship and closeness. You can't have both in one person and you think that you can... Mix and match different people to satisfy different parts of your life. And I think you're disgusting. Because if you want to do that, at least be honest with them. And this person went, well, they would end things with me if I did. And I know that you still want to be friends. And I said, well, I don't want to be friends with this kind of energy about it. I think it's wrong and completely just, you know, disgusting. And I feel repulsed by you as a person. I think you are vile. <laughs> and so I, I was stewing even more in my anger. And um, then I, I, I came through a breakthrough. And I went back into the room where they were. And I said, look, the reason why I'm so angry is because when you met this person, although... As an empath, I could feel that there was a lot of hidden, deceitful things happening in your energy. You still physically gave this person more 
quicker than you gave me, basically. What had happened is we never moved in, officially moved in together. And that was something that bothered me. In hindsight, I'm grateful to the universe that that never happened because it wasn't meant to. Clearly wasn't meant to. But at the time, I felt deeply offended. And I actually finally admitted in this dream to this person that that is the reason why I have a secret resentment towards them. Because they allowed their new relationship to move in with them two years after meeting, whereas we had a seven or eight year relationship but we never moved in. I felt really just offended as a human being, thinking, wow, am I not good enough? But then I came to the realization, it's not me. I do deserve these things and I shouldn't allow this experience to make it seem like I'm not worthy because I am. I just have to realize that, okay, this is the reason why I was offended. This is the reason why I secretly harbor resentment towards you. But I can let it go now because I've admitted what it was that was holding me back. It was my self-worth being affected because I thought that I didn't mean as much to them as this other person did. But what I should have realized, and I, I kind of did, but I didn't fully... You know when you've dug, done 90% of the work, but there's still that little 10% that you need to just peel off the final layer and be done with it. It was that. Whilst this person is getting, quote-unquote, better treatment than I did, and on the surface it may surely look that way, it was my pride that was getting hurt, you see, because other people probably commenting, oh, you were with that other person for so long, how come you never fully um, accepted them into your life, blah, 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 through moving in with them. That was my hurt. It wasn't that I didn't feel loved. I felt loved. There was love in that relationship, but there was a barrier with this full acceptance. And whilst on the surface it may look like full acceptance with this person, there's a lot of stuff going on that I don't need to go into. But this was the thing that was making me hurt. It was the fact that they got more than I did. Seemingly. I mean, supposedly. <laughs> but that was my issue. They got more than I did. And I felt offended. And as soon as I admitted that, something dropped off me. I thought, oh my god, and this is exactly why my false twin went through a very similar thing, where I went through the same emotions and I couldn't see it. And all I could say was, F you guys, you you don't deserve to be part of my universe if that's how you treat me. Rather than delving in, doing the work and admitting to myself, okay, I'm hurt and this is the reason why, and now I can forgive and be forgiven and let it go. I <laughs> will get that to that part in a bit, but let me just tell you about the false twin thing, because that's also very much linked to why this has happened. So, I met my false twin a month after I had broken up with my karmic relationship. And my false twin, as you probably heard in previous videos, didn't show me the respect that I deserved. But because I was feeling so unworthy at the time, I knew exactly now, looking back, why I drew him to me. I was matching the exact vibration that he was, even though at the time I wouldn't admit it. I was like, oh, why would someone so disrespectful come into my life? But now I see it's because I didn't respect myself in the way that I should have. And the reasons why these situations showed themselves to me so that I would learn but I didn't get it <laughs> I didn't get it for the longest time and so what happened was my false twin kind of rejected me and that was painful that was bloody painful I'll tell you now because I'm I'm I know that I'm a beautiful person and I deserve the best so I couldn't get it I couldn't understand well, why would this person um reject me in that way when when I first met them I was like a princess to them you know I was the best of the best and they treated me as such and 
for it to go from being a princess to, to being a piece of poop at the bottom of his shoe, I couldn't grasp it. I was like, what the heck? I haven't done anything. But what I haven't done to him, I did to myself. I lacked self-respect. I lacked self-worth. And this is the gem that I, you know, the golden nugget that I've been looking for in healing myself from these situations. So what happened was he met somebody new. And of course I was heartbroken. But um, I was, again, too proud. And I was like, do you know what? F you guys. I don't need you in my life. You're not part of my universe. You can just go and do one. <laughs> I was that. I was quite resentful. Quite resentful. So they got married very soon after meeting. They got the full engagement parties, all of the stuff that I wanted from him, but he didn't give to me. And I was envious and jealous and angry and resentful and stewing in my anger, but I couldn't blow up because there was no contact between us. Well, the thing is, he never blocked me. I could always contact him, but he never responded, which is even worse. <laughs> What's worse than being blocked is being ghosted. Because at least when you're blocked, you know that that person had been affected in some way, whether that's unable to deal with you right now because of all the feelings you brought up within them, or they're just so irritated by you that they don't want to know about you anymore. But either way, it shows some sort of reaction. Being ghosted shows zero, and it's, oh my God, it makes my skin crawl. So I never told him that I was offended and I thought that he was a piece of poop as well. <laughs> um, but now, after having that dream, I totally see that I was too proud to A, admit that I was hurt, to work through that pain, but also to realise that it's nothing that I did and to know my worth and that I didn't need validation from him or my karmic. I needed validation from myself. And this is what I failed to realize all of this time up until I had this dream. I knew it. You know, when you read books, like when I read books for university, I get the theories behind everything. I get how things work. But unless you apply it and put it into practice, you might as well not have that knowledge because you're not 100% there. You're 90% there, possibly but you have to be 100% there. And I finally admitted, I don't have to contact my false twin. There's no need for that. But energetically, I admitted, that really hurt me. It offended me. It hurt me and it made me feel worthless because you would put somebody who your connection wasn't as well, you know, strong with before me. And that really cut me deep. And I, I was very hurt. And the second I admitted it, and the second I was able to let it go, I felt true freedom. True freedom. And I will give you the key to that freedom now. So, about 2016. The start of 2016 had a very similar vibe to what I'm going through now. Except I wasn't as progressed in my spiritual path. And I went through a stage of forgiving and being forgiven so that I could free myself from past hurts. It worked on certain things, but these two relationships it didn't work on because I had a hidden resentment that I wasn't facing, you see. So how it works to free yourself from karmic cycles is you energetically connect with that person because in some instances you can't physically connect and I had a very valid reason it would have put me in physical danger and I didn't want that to happen because one of my connections broke up very badly where the police had to get involved I was nearly robbed of my life um so I couldn't physically connect out of practical reasons that I don't want to end up fighting for my life again so you fit you not physically, you energetically connect with that person and you say to them, look, this went wrong between us. I understand that it takes two people to make a connection or relationship work. 
I am hurt by this, this and this that you've done to me. And I take responsibility that I must have done things that hurt you as well. I'm not always fully aware of what I did, but what I did must have affected you in order for you to have reacted the way that you have. So for that, I am sorry. And so, you have to truly mean this, by the way. You can't just half ass kind of go, yeah. You have to say to them, I forgive you and really feel that forgiveness so that it turns to love and it actually transmutes that anger that you had for them at one point. And I ask that you forgive me. And that's going to take a lot of pride to be stripped away. Because as long as you're holding on to your pride, you are not going to be able to forgive them and give true freedom. And gain true freedom as well. So that's what I'm going to do. I did this to my first relationship, who I had a really awful relationship with. But the moment I did that, the true forgiveness, I forgive you and ask that you forgive me, I stopped getting nightmares about them. I stopped hearing from them on the physical because I didn't want to hear from them anymore because they were stalking me and harassing me. I stopped hearing from them. I stopped being harassed by them energetically. I no longer dreamt about them and I was free. And what I should have realized at the time is I should have applied that to my karmic and to my twi false twin in order to gain the same amount of freedom. But I was too proud, you see, because what had happened with the first person is very dramatic. And it's kind of like, wow, you really need to get over that in order to not be poisoned by them anymore. But because what happened with the karmic and the false twin was quite subtle, I didn't forgive them in the exact same way I did the whole I ask for you to forgive me and I forgive you but without the okay so this is the reason why I was hurt bit without the being vulnerable bit and that's the difference you see you need to allow yourself to be vulnerable to really dig deep to get to the core of why you were hurt and then do the I forgive you and ask that you forgive me and then you'll be free but if you're just going to be sitting there going, OK, I have to forgive you just so that you get out of my energy, it's not going to work. You have to lay yourself bare. You have to allow them to make you vulnerable, to break you and to, to really get to the core of, of why you felt the way that you did. And it's funny, isn't it, why these two people made me feel offended in exactly the same way. Treating someone else in the way that I wanted to be treated, me not getting what I wanted from them and therefore me feeling like I wasn't good enough. Crazy how the same people carry the same lessons until you learn from them. So I've got my homework all planned out. I'm going to have a ceremony of freedom today. And I feel good. Oh, I was watching some full moon videos and it's so funny, I, it didn't quite dawn on me until now. That this is my pre-full moon ceremony, isn't it? The clearing of the path so that my manifestations can finally come in. Because the full moon carries with it an energy of manifestation. And if I don't do this, then I may shoot myself in the foot. <laughs> and I don't want to do that. I want to be open. I want to be ready. I want to be present. I want to be vulnerable. And I want to be able to let everything go. Because there is no need to hold on. Are these people's lives perfect now that they've gotten themselves into the stage that I wanted to get at with them? It's none of my business. <laughs> Whereas before I would have had my judgments, actually now, it's none of my business. And I wish them the best. I do. Because I want the best for me too. And so I'm going to let it go. I'm going to be mature about this. There's no need for these childish games anymore. There's no need to be nasty. Or I can be quite clever with, you know, not being directly blatantly nasty, but being, you know, sarcastic or making it sound like I'm giving you a compliment when it's actually a big stab. <laughs> um, and I don't want to be that person anymore. Because I want to attract 
true, pure, unconditional love. And I know that I cannot do that in this energy. So I'm going to release it. And I hope you do the same. I may actually do a ceremony video, like a meditation, where I go through everything so that you can follow along and free yourself. If you feel you want that, let me know in the comments or I'm going to put up a poll so that I know and I will do it for you, okay, because I feel that that may help. So anyway, I hope this video helps. Wow, this is a long video. I've not done a long video in a while. Um, I hope this helps you. If you would like to connect with me and have a personal reading, healing or meditation or separately, then please click onto my website. It's in the description below. I still have January offers. To give you up to 33% off if you, show, if you should choose to do that, um, I'm going to stop these offers at the end of the month and my prices will change in February. So if you still want to take advantage, then please feel free. I want to thank you all for your support, for watching my video and for growing with me. I'm so proud that I get to do this with people and that I don't have to keep my knowledge to myself because I feel that this video holds the key to freedom. And I need you to have that too because we all want to ascend, we all want to be free and we all want to live in love. So I thank you all for watching, for your support and your kindness towards me as well. Have a beautiful day. Namaste.